Well, hello everyone. We're back again. Gonna paint another bait. Like I promised, we're gonna paint that one perch pattern that I showed y'all on the giveaway video. So, um, <clears throat> and this blank, like I said, these blanks come from Sugar Shane Graham at Sugar Tit Lures. <clears throat> so, but anyway, let's just get into it, right straight into it. And, um, on this one, I already took and um, base coated him in Createx OPEC white. And then I took and went over him with about three coats of um, Createx pearlized silver. And we heat set him and everything. So now our next color is going to be this createx o opec coral the 50 5208 so that's going to be our next color and we're just going to spray this right on his throat so we're just going to spray it real light cuz we want we want this silver to kind of shine shine through But we'll kind of fade this orange out whenever we start putting other colors. It'll kind of tone it down a little. Also. Make sure you get in all those little crooks. clean out my chamber real quick be right back all right then our next color is gonna be createx opec yellow and we're gonna put two three four drops in here but then i'm also gonna put about 10 to 15 drops of createx 4011 reducer Cause I'm gonna make this yellow transparent. So I don't want it to just take over the bait. But I want it transparent because I want that silver through all these colors. I want that silver to kind of pop through these colors. So we'll make this yellow very transparent. I'm going to turn my airbrush down to about 20 for all of this. We're going to be, probably be setting around 18. That's what I'm talking about.
Had a little fun. Alright. Now we're just going to take and... I might want to move these baits out of the way. Oh. I'll set him right there. Alright. Now we're just going to spray this. But we're not going to spray it heavy. piece of silver or something plugged up in my brush. And we're just kind of Random spray in this, except for on the back. I guess I'm gonna turn my air pressure up just a touch. I think I got a clog or something in it. So maybe we can work through this. Maybe not. Pull that needle out and clean it off. Make sure everything's okay. There we go. There we go. I think I finally blew it out. Then the bottom of the gill plates, we want it to there. And that's kind of what you want to where you can see the yellow, but then you see the silver coming out from underneath it. <clears throat> it may not be showing up very good on the camera, but there, 
there's a good spot of that yellow but then the silver's still coming through so Stupid airbrush never acts up until I want to do a video. Alright, so there, there it is. So we'll clean this out and go to the next color. Alright, <clears throat> now we got the other color loaded. And our next color is pearl lime green. And what I did is put about three drops of pearl lime green in there. And about probably another 15 drops of the... And we're just going to spray this random too. where you just kind of get that greenest tone to it. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I just had some clogs in my airbrush, but I finally got them all worked out. But. moss green and I took and thin this way down because I do not want it to darken my bait just yet we're just gonna random spray this also Just kind of get a little of that darker green going through. To where you get something that's starting to look like that right there. That's what we're wanting. That's what makes this pattern look so natural. It's just a squirt, so. Man, that's a lot, but it's the end. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry. so, I'm going to clean that out real quick. And then, I'm going to take and go back with the moss green and we're going to create the green black and we're going to add a drop just one drop of black to this moss green and that's all you need when you mix this green black you just need that one drop of black Cause it'll keep the green color but then it'll make it real it makes it really really dark and then I'm gonna add only two drops 
of reducer to that just to thin it out enough to where it doesn't want to thicken up that even with that black it kind of makes that moss green want to thicken up a little bit so just a couple of drops of reducer Let me get that green black to spray in through. There it goes. All right. Now we need to heat set this real quick. got him heat set now we're gonna spray his bars on I need to push him back and I need to get him bowed just right Them front bars. I don't know if it's just the light or my front bars aren't wanting to show up very good for some reason. Maybe I'm not getting my stencil close enough. I guess that's as good as we're gonna get that for whatever reason but since they're not very dark kind of makes it look a little more natural There we go. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. All right. So now we got the bars on. So now we're gonna darken his back down. I don't know if my camera's in a good spot or not. I keep.
keep heat and setting this because I do have it thinned down. We darn sure don't want it to run on us. Now we're gonna bring this down. set this and be right back all right then this next step is kind of tedious I guess um we're gonna put we're gonna use this toothpick and we're just gonna put some dots on the orange and then kind of a few here and a few there and then a few camera's not wanting to focus then a few around the the gill plate so we'll start doing that so anyway here we go you don't want these dots very heavy just kind of light light and random kind of makes them gives him that more realistic look to him um what i do is gonna get some on my toothpick then put it on my paper that way i can just dip it in there so Stuff like that.
with something like that. Kind of gives him that natural, more of a natural look than spraying a ton of dots right in one spot. But. Or something like that and it don't have to be perfect match on each side or anything there we go there's his little dots I think it kind of gives him more natural look to him but Anyway, so now we're gonna take and do his earmarks real quick. Um, <sighs> I always throw that stencil and I don't ever remember where I throw it. I have to look for it. I think I moved some stuff on it, maybe. Well, I don't know. There it is. No, nope, that's not it. That's the little one. Where's my big one? Yeah, I do lose stuff too, people. So. It's kind of one of those deals. I just get done with it. Where did it go? Of course, if I'd keep my stuff cleaned out, I'd probably find it a little easier. But. Really? Okay, we'll be right back. Let me find this stencil. Maybe. All right. Well, we're back. I think I'm going blind, people. I don't know. It was laying right up against the side of my booth. But anyway, it's one of those days, I guess. So, anyway, we're going to do his earmarks. Oh. See if we can get this to...
There we go. There's one. Swap this off. There's their earmarks. Now we're going to take and clean this out, and we got one more step that we're going to do. Two more steps. We're going to get rid of a little bit of overspray, which is just natural. But, because we want the bottom parts of those gill plates to be really, really shiny. We're gonna load a couple of drops of silver back in here. clean this out period I don't think I know why it's plugging up Okay, now a couple more drops of silver. There we go, now we have action. So we're going to take this stencil, because we don't want this silver to overspray very much. And we're just going to...
just like that. We'll dry it real quick with the air brush. And we just spritz a little silver back on that top part of that gill plate. Just to kind of give him that look right there. Yeah, that's what we're wanting right there. Giving that kind of reflection up around his face. But anyway, there he is. Pretty natural looking gill right there. So, I will get his fins on. And, well, Get his fins on and I'll epoxy him. Epoxy him, put eyes put eyes in him, epoxy him. And I will show y'all what he looks like. So I really like him though. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see y'all in the next one. Well everyone, here he is finished, clear coated and all. So he turned out pretty good. I like the way he looks. But anyway, there he is. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it.